Desiree Grace has a question. How big do orchids get? Well, <laughs> that is all very relative, but let's put it this way. We've got miniatures, and I guess you're not addressing those because we consider them small, but they can get quite big the older they get. We've got medium size. They can still be quite small, but for their stature, they can also get quite big within their own little size parameter. Then we've got large, which is also a relative size, depending on does it need air space? Does it need width space? Is it an orchid with a long rhizome like the bubble phyllum? It may only have five growths, but we consider it large because it's taking up a lot of space. Then we've got extra large. And this is definitely something that we can consider because of how tall the orchid gets. But not only that, how long is the rhizome at the base? So again, in an extra large orchid, you might have both factors kicking in. It is a very tall orchid and it is getting bigger and bigger at the base as well, even though there may not be that many growths. So an orchid can get as large as you want it to within all these different sizes. Many of us choose to divide our orchids because of orchid swaps or because of limited space. There's also the question of pot size and availability if you can't just leave an orchid in a tree and let it do its thing. So if I had the space, I would very, very rarely divide my orchids. And those of us that do grow in pots and don't have the ability to grow our orchids the way they should be grown epiphytically out in nature, they also need a regular cleanup from the depleted roots, old growths, etc. So the size of an orchid is not just determined by its own size, miniature, small, medium, and so on and so forth. It is also what you want to do with the orchid and how you can grow it. But if you were to leave your orchid to grow indefinitely in an environment, in a pot, or on a tree, they will get rather large, even though some of the structures will have already died off and depleted as part of the natural process for the orchid. In our homegrown environments, we have to be very, very careful of all the dead matter though, because that can attract fungi or all kinds of bacteria and introduce all sorts of other secondary problems, which we don't want. So if you are blessed with plenty of space, only make sure that you keep your orchids clean, tidy, remove dead material and refresh the root ball every once once in a while, but let them grow and grow and grow until you have the size that you've been seeing in Indonesia.